So in this video, I'm going to go through some examples of sketching these log curves. So first one, y equals the natural log of x take away 8 plus 3. So the first thing you want to do is identify where the vertical asymptote is, and that will be when the bracket is 0, which is when x is 8. So we can draw in a vertical asymptote at x equals 8. And then our logarithmic curve will look something like this. So the only other point that I'm interested in is where it crosses the x-axis, which is when y is 0. So if I put y to be 0, then we have 0 is equal to the natural log of x take away 8 plus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides. Then we can e both sides. So e to the power of minus 3 is going to be x take away 8. And so x will be equal to e to the power of minus 3 plus 8. And so that is the exact point at which the curve will cross the x-axis. And so that's my sketch for number 1. Right, number two, y equals the natural log of x plus 20, take away 30. So, first of all, identify where the curve uh, has its vertical asymptote, and that's when the bracket is zero, so when x is minus 20. So, x equals minus 20. Now, before we go any further, because we know that the curve does this kind of shape, is it going to cross the y-axis up here, or is it crossing the y-axis down here? We need to know which one it is. So, before we draw the curve, we will work out where it crosses the y-axis, which is when x is 0. So, when x is 0, we're going to have y is equal to the natural log of 20 take away 30. Okay? So... I'm going to plug that into my calculator. The natural log of 20, take away 30, is approximately minus 27. So we know it's crossing down here. So our curve will look something like this. So this point is what we worked out here. The natural log of 20, take away 30. And so the only other point I'm interested in is where it crosses the x-axis, which is when y is 0. So y is 0, 0 equals the natural log of x plus 20, take away 30. Add the 30 to both sides. e both sides, so e to the power of 30 is equal to x plus 20. And then subtract 20 from both sides, so x is e to the 30, take away 20. And so that is the exact point where it will cross the x-axis. OK, so that's number two. OK, so the last one. y equals the natural log of x plus 5.2, take away 8.9. So again, first of all, identify where the vertical asymptote is, and that's when this bracket is 0, so when x is minus 5.2. So x equals minus 5.2. Now, we don't know whether the curve does this, or does it do that, or it could potentially go through the origin. Um, I don't think it's going to in this case, though. Uh, but we can substitute in x is 0. Um, so when x is 0, we're going to have y equals the natural log of 5.2 take away 8.9. So what's that? So the natural log of 5.2 take away 8.9 is approximately minus 7.25. So it intersects down here. So that means our curve must do something like that. This point 
is the natural log of 5.2 take away 8.9. So the only other point I'm interested in is where it crosses the x-axis, which is when y is 0. So 0 equals the natural log of x plus 5.2 take away 8.9. Add the 8.9 to both sides. Then e both sides, so e to the power of 8.9 is x plus 5.2. So x is e to the power of 8.9, take away 5.2. And that is the exact point for which the curve crosses the x-axis.